Down syndrome is the most common genetic disorder and it is amazing that in India, one in 750 people are born with Down syndrome, which actually means that in a year we see about 30 to 35,000 people with Down syndrome, which is uh, one of the highest populations in the world. Um, looking at the scenario as it stands today, I think we are very comfortable. Our uh, medical experts in the field of Down syndrome have really are playing a role where they're very positive, which is, I think, one of the best things that's happened after my journey of 35 years. And um, they are giving very encouraging feedbacks to the parents. Uh, we have a very empowered parent group. And uh, all over India, uh, we are now finding that uh, the parents are no longer negative and they come forward with their issues very easily. Uh, the other important thing is when you look at uh, India as against the entire globe, uh, we can be very proud of ourselves. Uh, actually, uh, our medical experts and uh, research papers that are being brought out in India is uh, on, on par or um, way ahead of papers that are being produced, at least in Asia. So um, I think uh, India is moving on. Um, if you look at the rights of the people or whether they have uh, the right to early intervention, we are working very hard on that so that all babies receive the same type of inter intervention as soon as they are born. As far as uh, uh, in inclusiveness in society, there is still that little bit of, uh, let me say, um, a slight because uh, people are, have not accepted us that easily. And I, my request is only that society wakes up and starts giving us the road into this particular uh, section. Because if you don't accept a three-year-old, you're never going to accept a 30-year-old. So as long as society opens up its mind and its ways, we will be very comfortable. And I think all our children in the future can be educated. We are now promoting research in India. We had researchers, but uh, the problem is that everybody cannot be called a research. Yeah, accepted as a research paper because it has to be scrutinized. And we never had, a, a, like, let us say, an umbrella over which Down syndrome was actually being researched. Today, we are encouraging the universities to open up the subject. And I think people are taking up major subjects, whether it's advancement in social structure or education or in um, inclusiveness or, of course, medical advancements. So we are really very happy with the situation and we are uh, encouraging uh, youngsters to start doing research in the universities. The only challenge we have is inclusiveness because if if we are included because early intervention is is a department that can be handled very easily if we have more specialists in that field but when it comes to attitudes we got that is our biggest challenge because we are still considered uh, a section of society that has got impairments and we are still in the disability, major disability groups, where I think it will take a, a few more years, but we are getting there. And there is visibility, which is what we had always wanted, that our parents should be proud and bring their children out. So then I think society will start understanding that they're not to be shut away, which is was our biggest challenge. I'm very positive about uh, our children being getting into society and I'm giving myself another 10 years where I think the entire scenario is going to be changed and it's going to be so beautiful that the next generation people with Down syndrome are going to be involved in every field in the, in the area of Down syndrome or in general in uh, every department.